And good morning, everybody. It's time now for Putnam County Today here on 94.3 WREB. With us from the Putnam County Playhouse, Shelly McFadden. Haven't seen you for a while. I know, I know. Of course, I know you guys kind of take a little hiatus, don't you, during the winter time? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, take a little break. Yeah, our last show is in September, so then we don't start again until the spring. All right. Well, you guys... Uh, Always in need of people, not so much to be on the stage, but you know, some off stage stuff. We need and... people on stage and off stage. <laughs> okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. So, yeah. I guess start with that. How can people become involved? What are you looking for? Uh, well, we have auditions. Usually, those are in the paper, and we do, you know, we try to get the word out, especially on our website, mm -hmm. which is um, www.putnamcountyplayhouse.com. And they can go there, and we usually have audition forms on the website that they can print off, and then they can bring to the um, uh, to the auditions that are listed on the website um, under the show information. Mm -hmm. It always tells you what shows are coming up and you know when auditions are and things like that. So that's the best way to get information about All the right. playhouse. Um, and so people just come to the audition if they're interested in working backstage or on tech or if they want to be on stage they just come out and meet with the director and audition and away we go. All right and you got you guys put up such great shows out there. I mean it's just amazing and you know we're really truly blessed to have the theater here in Greencastle. Yeah I think so too. And uh, you got a show coming up right? We do. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers is the first show of our 2015 season and uh, it goes up June 4th, 5th, and 6th, and then the 10th through 13th. Okay. We also have an open house coming up May 31st from 1 to 3. Uh, that's a Sunday afternoon, and we'll be doing uh, some rehearsals of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers during that time, and tickets will be on sale for the first time okay. that day. So people can come in and they can get individual tickets if they want for the show, or they can buy season tickets for all four shows this season. And kind of coming at a rehearsal is uh, kind of a nice thing because you get the behind the scenes yeah. things, and there's a little more blooper action going on too, right? There's a lot of blooper <laughs> action. <laughs> for those of us that like the gag reels, yeah. those are the shows we want to go yeah, see. Yeah, we have a hard time staying in character with this show because there are so many funny little things that happen and we have a great group of, of younger people and some older veteran actors as well um, and they're just hysterical so yeah we've had a hard time we've had a really hard time <laughs> not <laughs> laughing and but you know the funny thing is is uh you know, when you actually, when you've seen the rehearsal and then you go to the show, it's almost like two different shows. Yeah, it, is. it really is. But, you know, you kind of get a feel for what you guys actually go through at the rehearsal mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's always great to come out there, especially, you know, you're having the open house and mm -hmm. the whole bit. Now, is there any charge for anybody to come to the open house? No, it's completely free of charge and you've got some entertainment. Um, Putnam Men will be catering like cookies and punch and stuff right. like that. So you get a little bit of, you know, food, snack, whatever. And then, um, the box office will be open, and Linda Jeswald's always in there and ready to sell tickets. So. All right. And what's Today, the ticket prices? Um, Ten dollars per person. Okay. And they can also get those online too, right? No. 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 Okay. We're not doing that. Okay. <laughs> no, we have to. They can um, either get their tickets in the box office. Um, season ticket brochures were mailed out, so okay. they can always send that back in um, if they're on our mailing list. So, and if they're not on our mailing list, they can do that at the theater. They can sign up to be on the mailing list and we'll be happy to send them information next year. All right. You guys also do a great thing with the area youth in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Can you touch on that just a little bit? Um, it's called Shakespeare and it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. They have middle school does the actual, um, this year they're doing the Merry Wives of Windsor. Okay. And so the, um, those middle schoolers will use the actual text you know that was written and then um, Caroline Good always does a phenomenal job of writing it, it's just uh, she puts different elements into Shakespeare and it's more into Shakespeare and it's more um, a little bit ad-libbed right. but the kids just get in it, it's just a bit skewered <laughs> it's really fun and she puts wonderful music in with it and it's just very very witty and well done and the kids love it I mean, yeah. this is one of the biggest things for the kids they just absolutely love it and then they do a children's workshop the uh, youth theater workshop is at the end of June mm -hmm. and then uh, they rehearse for two weeks and then they perform and then the uh, children's workshop is in August 
Okay, great. Now, how many of these kids that go through the workshop actually continue on then into the community well, theater? Well, you know, we actually have one of the guys who's playing one of the brothers in, in my show. Um, actually, he's done a workshop before. So, great. Yeah, so... I think they do. I think they really like it. I think um, I think there are a couple or three of the kids that are in the show that have done the workshop in the past. All right. Any other big performances coming up this year that you can share with us? Oh my gosh, we have a great season. Um, Jack Randall Earls just had his auditions for Bad Seed mm -hmm. and has a wonderful cast. So I'm really excited about that. And then um, we have auditions uh, the day after we close, which will be we close on. June 13th. So June 14th and 15th will be auditions for Into the Woods, which is, a, I love, it's one of my favorite musicals of all time. Um, and so that's going to be a really exciting musical. And then our last show is um, The Game's Afoot, okay. which is kind of a mystery, oh, it's a comedy that. kind of thing. So that's going to be really good. And uh, Dustin Bond will be directing that. It's his first it's his first time up directing at the Playhouse. And then um, Lee Reberger from Community Theater of Clay County is coming in and he'll be directing Into the Woods. So it's going right. to be a good summer. I think so. It sounds like yeah. it's going to be an exciting be summer. summer. Now, of course, people can find out all the information on the website mm -hmm. too, right? And mm -hmm. what's that website again? It's www.putnamcountyclayhouse.com. All right. So are you going to be in any starring roles this year? <sighs> I'm auditioning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I'm auditioning for Into the Woods, okay. um, so that's, yeah, that's, you know. So which do you like better, the acting or the directing? I like them both, but, um, yeah, I like them both. Okay. Almost equally, but I really love directing. It's just, especially, I have a cast of about 37 people for Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, and they're just all amazingly talented people. And uh, it, it's, it's a, I, I kind of am a little intimidated by how large the group is, but right. they're so good. I mean, they're just so amazing, and it's just really neat when you tell someone kind of what you would like them to do and then they just take it and run with it and this cast does that they're Great. just they're fabulous All so right. they need sell out they need sell out yeah. shows because they're just so good and people are going to love them <laughs> and it's always a good show out there yeah yeah so well again people can find out information on the website mm -hmm. and they can call the box office mm -hmm. if they'd like some tickets the box or... office will be open um may 31st as i said from one to three at our open house and then that next week it'll be open during the run of the show it'll be open um monday through saturday um, from five to seven and then um actually from five to eight on nights of the show all right so, yeah well shelly it's always a pleasure hopefully we can get you back in here about mid-season huh yeah, that'd be fun hopefully i'll have a part that i can tell you about there you go <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't forget if you're a nonprofit group or community organization you'd like some free airtime here on WRUV, you too can be a part of Putnam County today. Give us a call at 653 9717.